but when I cleared, I was taken to a Catholic school. I didn't agree with so many things that I saw there. I was, um, I, I was, I was very rational. I would question many things that were doing. I almost got kicked out after form four. I backslid. I sequan in the church, and I, my main question was, what made Christianity Christianity? I attempted Islam, mm. but still they could not answer a few things. Uh, I, I I never found Buddhism, but I did a research. I discovered Hindu Hinduism is not a religion, <laughs> but Hindus are the only ones who endorse their gods. They fire and they hire their gods. So if they discover today Pastor T is the most rich person in Kenya and he has broken a certain bar, they will, they will create gods called T's. So you go there, you find an idol. You place then, your bets. Yes, then they will be praying to T and say, yes. give me wealth, give me wealth. If T does not answer, whatever happened in COVID, they'll throw me in a, in a lake and say, now we need a certain God. That's why they say when you preach to a Hindu, yeah, they might accept Jesus, but go and create an idol and call it Jesus. And I worship that idol because you've told them Jesus heals. They'll say this idol is the one which is Jesus. Now this one. Anytime they need healing, they approach the Jesus, the idol. So what happened is that there was such a hunger and it was like the hunger of a pregnant person. Specific to a certain meal, to a certain menu. Cravings. Yes, cravings. And I remember uh, at that time, uh, 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 I read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Just like any other book. Not because I believed in Christ. I read it like any other book. And there are things that now began to light up. Realities opened up. But that still never convinced me. I studied about Rastafarianism. Mm -hmm. I studied about Africanism, African renewals. Why are we wrong? Why are our parents wrong? Why was my grandfather wrong by doing all these things? Uh, I had studied the depth of the Egyptian mysteries. And that's where I found the foundation of witchcraft. The essence of how witchcraft came on board and even how the, 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 the language that used to be there and even some of the practices. So when I looked upon Africanism, when I looked upon Rastafarianism, I discovered Rastafarianism was a political tool that was created by Marcus Gamvey in their day. Uh, when I look at uh, Orthodox Christianity, looked at Catholicism, looked at Muslim, late in life looked at uh, the whole thing of guruism and all these things, I decided to put a comparison. And I discovered uh, when I look at the Quran, I see the Bible. When I look at guruism, I see a person who's practiced spirituality and all these things, this practice spirituality. When I look at Catholicism, I see this, the Bible. When I look at all these things, I see like there is a common book where they got their knowledge. Then they began their practice. And now, now that book now began to define this is evil, this is right, this is the way of the spirit. But then the Bible is very spiritual. Mm. You read the stories of the gods called Molech. Yes. The Midianite gods. Mm. The, 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 the foundation of that altar was like the abortion table. And that's why they say abortion and demonically it's connected. They used to wash, back in the day, they used to offer human sacrifice to Molech. Now that's a god that was a Moabite god. You go back and begin to do interrogation. You remember in that Kings, the king is losing. He gets his son, offered him to Molech, and fear comes. So the whole thing about Satanism and, and this thing began Kitabo. So, so I began to see, oh, so this thing is in the Bible. Okay, so David is here. Uh, people are dying of a pandemic. But in the realm of the spirit, there is, a, there is an angel with a sword stretched over Jerusalem. And then David prays and the angel withdraws the sword and puts it back. And pandemic ends. And the man raises an altar. There is a lot of spirituality in the Bible. It's only that I said we're in the first level of discipleship. Mm. Where we tell you, you know Jesus is there. You know Jesus loves you. Please get born again. Now when you get born again, we now recruit you to kingdom agents and spiritualists. And that, that for me, that is what settled it. Otherwise, I, I, I always said, I didn't pursue Christianity because someone preached. I pursued because I critically analyzed all the books, placed them on my table. And I, and, and I was like, if I was born in India, I think I'll still become a Christian. If I was born in Islam, I think I'll still become a Christian because my appetite, nobody could answer the question that I had perfectly than anything else uh, and, and anything, any book couldn't answer my question. And I don't view scripture, what people view, there is so much depth in scripture when you now become the student of spirituality. You begin to see it from a spiritual lens and how things happen spiritually. And you begin to see the devil as a duplicator of the spiritual pattern to advance his kingdom. So it helps a lot.